<laughs> Can you Catch say my tail. <laughs> Can you say, is this thing on? Is this thing on? <laughs> <laughs> so hey guys, we're gonna finish up our three-part series uh, from the RVI trade show in Louisville that we filmed a few weeks ago. See, we've shown Class A's, <laughs> we've shown Vans, we've shown what else? We've shown lots of stuff. Bananas. 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 We've shown okay. bananas. We missed the bananas, unfortunately. <laughs> I would have liked a good banana. All right, we'll get you a banana. <laughs> So we're trying to show you guys things that are new, things we haven't seen before, which is really good because they introduce a lot of that stuff at this show. So hope you guys enjoy. Like she's enjoying her banana. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's a lot of enjoyment. <laughs> so the first fifth wheel we're looking at is a Voltage 3970. You've got a carefree awning package on the uh, side and the back. It's really cool that it adds that extra square footage, but it's like outdoor living space. Such a huge space. I mean, yeah, look at this. This <laughs> yeah. is the size of our it's whole like RV. Cavernous. <laughs> no, this one, I love the decor in it. Uh -huh. You got your high ceilings. What I love about toy haulers too is the big tanks. Gray, black, and water. Yeah. Good for being in the desert for a long time. Well, this couch is different too. Look at this for lounging. Yeah, so you can yeah. face the TV. Yeah. It's here right now. That's why it looks like a lounger right now because that comes over here and sits right here. And it makes it an L shaped couch. Look at when you've got these extra tents, it's like it's doubling here. Oh, yeah, it's a huge amount of space. Of course you like the gold, right? I love gold. <laughs> it's nice though. Yeah. Like, I, mean, it's, I really it's like this. You got the bed in the back. Yeah, and I love this huge window. Like, you could totally just like listen to the waves or look at the stars. So is this a closet? Yeah. Closet. I mean, it's pretty large. Yeah. Wet bath. Flip down sink. Love those. Nice. I love the decor. It's really nice. Yeah, and, very light and area. Yeah, yeah, it is a modern. I love it. They do a good job. They're letting in light and they're letting in light different ways. I mean, you've got porthole circle type window over here. The curves are all in the right place. I mean, dark, it's just, I don't it, know. Is that, it is curves that, in all the right places. Yeah, that's what I say about Marissa a lot too, so. <laughs> Don't let me turn around. <laughs> I just wonder if this could be made into a bed. It does. Yeah, I can. I just saw underneath. Yeah? you got multiple levels here. You can see where it would rest on that right there if it needed to. So yeah, that should be able to make a bed too. Could this one be towed by a Jeep? It can, I'd say. And it could sleep all three of us? Let me check the weight. Max weight, 3,500, so could be towed by a Jeep. I'm just saying. Wow, it's pretty roomy. Not bad. I mean, this can, this can make a bed, I'm guessing. Yeah. I mean, for what they get in the space it is, I mean, imagine all the places you could go if this was on the back of your truck. Like, you could go anywhere. Wet bath. Can you? Oh, wow. Here's the Luna. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Look at the back of this Luna. It is really nice. I don't know if I could live in this. You're pushing it. <laughs> I was just saying I like that other one. Man. It is really nice having, you've got this, you know, covering over you. It gets the smoke out and the heat out. It's nice having an outdoor way to cook. Those are awesome. I don't know if we're ready for that. The tanks are pretty small. <laughs> what, 18 gallon gray? 30 fresh and 12 black. So here's one we've never seen. Tommy Bahama, 19 foot, Airstream. I bet ours, I know ours lots up. We gotta get that fixed. <laughs> so if you like the Tommy Bahama style and you wanted something smaller, they've made that option. But I really like the Tommy Bahama with the hatch in the back. You like the hatch. I don't hear the Tommy Bahama <laughs> decor necessarily. But I just like that 
hatch that opens up. <laughs> this is nice. Sort of corners. Oh yeah. That's and magnet genius. magnetize here. You pull it and it comes out and you got your bathroom and shower back there. Big closet. Convection oven, stove. I mean they can get a lot. It's a small sink, but yeah. <laughs> well, they got a lot in here. Mm -hmm. Montana 3701 LK. Oh wow. Now this feels like a house. <laughs> wow. This yeah. is the luxury kitchen edition, right? It's a big open area in the living room area and then you got your kitchen in the back oh, separating really cool. it. You got like this hooded stove. Golly. Yeah, the archway kind of creating that separation there. Look at all the seating. Like you could entertain here easily. And I think like both of these makes beds. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Master bedroom. You want your dryer hookups or mm -hmm. shelves, whichever you want. Pivot door. I still freak out with these <laughs> with these pivot doors. Yeah. <laughs> it keeps you from um blocking the entire doorway when you mm -hmm. open it by having it pivot like that. No, this is really nice. I like it being on one level. I think I it like makes more sense. Too. It feels better as a flow to take the steps up into the bedroom, I think. Yeah, and have this you're not level. going It feels like your... more of a regular house feel. Right, you're not going into your bedroom yeah. as much as you're like going yeah. into the In a typical house, room. you're on one level versus walking up and down the stairs, going from the kitchen to like a, a living room. You know, front living room. Mm -hmm. or, you know. Like here, here's a cougar, what we're talking about. Here's the cougar with the front living, which is nice. It's like a totally separate front living area. Very cozy. But then if you want to go from the living room to the kitchen, you're always walking up and down these stairs and it's got this separation. So, I mean, I don't know. It's like, because if you're down there cooking or something, you're like totally separate from the rest well, of the... It's not right or wrong. It's just different. Yeah, yeah. Like. It's just a preference thing. If you want that total separation, this is better. And then to me, the other big thing is... Um, this one's the ceiling's not as high. Oh, it's not as high in here? Usually on your... Because this is a Cougar. The Montana's will have a higher ceiling, but usually you get in the master bedroom in the back and you've got almost a nine-foot ceiling in the back. So this is something new they're doing. What? I don't... I guess you could use it like a drying uh -huh. rack. Or just kitchen counter space if you need Yeah. That's kind of neat. Yeah, and it's really, you know, lightweight and easy to kind of move out of the way. Yeah. It's kind of cool. It is neat. I like it. That's all we're going to highlight in here. <laughs> it's another toy hauler. <laughs> it's really nice, but... Oh, yeah. Love it's, the toy uh, it's a Raptor. There you go, Marissa. Jeep towable. Huh. We like these Lances. We looked at some of these. Um, but Marissa pretty much told me if we're getting a travel trailer, we're getting an Airstream, so... It's a 2375. These typically have pretty good insulation. Oh, they're good. Huh, what is that? Step up or something? It's different, isn't it? What is the reason for that? These fill. It's, it's well built. Dirty. Yeah. yeah. Look, that's cool. The yeah. trash can's up trash here. Can. <laughs> Bathroom, shower. I don't know. Let me go outside and see what's going on. Yes. Uh, yes huh. Well, they got this storage. Because I mean, when you're sitting at a booth dinette, you don't need that headroom above you, really. So they raised that up and put some storage underneath it, it looks like. This is Taxa Outdoors. Make pretty cool stuff. Uh, they've got the Cricket, I think was one of the earlier ones I saw that's been out a little while. Uh, this is the Tiger Moth. Kind of their signatures, they, they're all, you can put a roof tent on all of these. And they've got crazy flexible features. Like, I don't know if I've seen any other RV here that like doubles into so many different things at once. And they're super light. So just enough to get out of the weather if you need to. Place to sleep up top. I like the rooftop tent idea. It's just like my letter. This is the Manus. The Manus is one of their newer ones. It's uh, this sleeps four. I think until they had this, everything else was meant to sleep like two. But even sleeping four, it's still you know less than twenty eight hundred pounds. Also folds up all the way in case your expensive five thousand dollar bike needs to be inside or mm -hmm. other. 
hauling stuff. I saw this you too. You found our this secret is, bathroom. I did. In shower bathroom. This is the uh, <clears throat> shower curtain that makes the okay. four hooks on the ceiling. It's, I mean, it's genius. So it's, it's only a bathroom when you want it to yeah. be, and many times you don't want it to be. And That's really cool. It's such a waste in it space. Can be yeah. your child's yeah. favorite bathroom. It's like, <laughs> no, we're at, it's dinner time. <laughs> You've got a insane amount of counter space, really, for uh, honestly <laughs> for the amount of room you have. I think this is really cool. I mean, if if you love adventure and you love getting off the grid and being where nobody else can get, I mean, this would be an awesome vehicle to take yeah. you there. <laughs> Does what it needs to do and no more. Like they know what they want to do. It's simple, it. but it's genius. It's really yeah. cool. This is a cool product. Yeah, refrigerator, water heater slash furnace. Sink, stove, AC, bed. I mean, just they got it all in this one small space. So with RVing, I think it's very easy to put everything in a box. Like you've got your toy haulers for your toys and your fifth wheels for luxury and your class A's if you want luxury and you want to move around a lot or you know, or you just like having a class A or whatever the reasons are. But then sometimes you get RVs that like kind of cross over or sort of mess up all of what you think about those things. <laughs> and this is one of those that does this. Um, it's a fifth wheel. But it has a storage area, garage, motorcycle, whatever you want to do with it that'll fit in here <laughs> underneath the back of it. Uh, this is a Riverstone by Forest River. This is the outside, so we'll go check out the inside and see what that looks like to make it look like that. 39 FKTH. Oh, this is really cool. You got this whole kitchen up here. I'd rather have the kitchen up high than the living room because I think if you're cooking or whatever, and you look over and the TV's right there, it feels more natural. And if you're sort of down in that hole cooking, while well, everybody's up here having a good time. And this is what's above that garage underneath. So you got the bedroom without the high ceiling, but uh, you know, that's okay. It's still a good ceiling. I mean, it's still, yeah. you know, six, six or something. I think, I think what's really neat about this is if you're like, I really want to be able to have a garage, but I don't want that whole room dedicated to it, mm -hmm. um, then this would be an awesome option. I think when I first saw a toy hauler, when Nathan pointed it out, this is when we first started, I was like, I don't like the, the ruggedness. I don't like the whole half of the RV being this rugged, unfinished room. Now I've come along and I love them, but I think for somebody who doesn't like that ruggedness of the room, this is a really good option. I'm not saying it'd be a good man cave necessarily unless you did something to it, but, but you know, if you need, if you work from the road. Make, make it certain, an office. Well, I mean, <laughs> you could. probably a way to do that, yeah. I mean, you can make it, I, you can make it an office if you want some serious privacy down there. It's very true. <laughs> uh, but I could see it more as like a garage area for t tools and things like that if you work from the road or maybe you're like selling something, you need to keep inventory mm -hmm. um, or, you know, toys, motorcycle, you know, or something like that could go in there. I'm, I'm sure it's designed for that to fit. It's very flexible, but you, but your living space doesn't take away from doesn't that. Doesn't suffer, or, yeah. you don't even know it's out there. There's um, a fireplace yeah. in the bedroom. Yeah. I've always wanted a fireplace in the bedroom. I told Nathan if they made we it. We got a space heater in the bedroom. We do. <laughs> Does it put out a flame? It shouldn't if put out a flame. This was see through into the bathroom with like a tub. I'm just saying if they want to make that one. Hey, it seems like when we mention things, the next year or two, we start finding RVs having that. So yeah. Well, if, if there's a need, if I find it a need, then maybe other people find a see through fireplace in an RV. It's a need. I mean, it's definitely a need. I mean, I don't know how you could hit the road without that. We've been really rough in it. But. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But it is really cool. I love it. The outside. Yeah, you got the garage back there, but you still got an insane amount of storage on the outside of the RV. It's a Riverstone 38 FB2 Marissa. Just when I think something can't beat the last one, it's like we walk into the next one and we're like, okay, this is awesome. They are doing a good job with these fireplaces. <laughs> You're all about the fireplaces. I love them. It, I love I'm them. telling you, you went over the, the wife, man. They Just, know uh, what they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> You've got uh, a dishwasher. That makes a little noise. Yeah. Oh, let me show you this. So again, they put the fireplace in the bedroom, which I love. This bathroom is awesome. I love this. Look at that mirror. Yeah. <laughs> no issue with that mirror. No. Well, a lot of times, like, 
You yeah. They have like this tiny little mirror, you know. I know, but you could look at this closet. They've got a walk-in closet so you can actually see what you look like wearing your outfit. That is huge. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, and with you, I'm wow. using like... Hers and hers, yeah. Nathan yeah. would only use like two hangers, so I could have this whole thing. This, which is a laundry chute, and it goes down to the half bath. I'd call that a Hensley chute, because I guarantee you she'd find a way to stand on this bed <laughs> <laughs> and throw all of her stuff down there once she That's knew it That's very did. true. Once she knew it did that. But what's really cool is the laundry chute comes out here, and then... You got your half bath with it's, your uh, wash genius. and dryer, which I love that it's in the half bath because it's almost like this is your laundry room mm -hmm. and then you can, you know, use the half bath if you need it, but it's not wasted space. It's not being taken out of your closet space. This is pretty genius. I love it. So that's some pretty cool stuff we've seen here at the show with travel trailers and fifth wheels and uh, man. I don't know, it's just a lot of stuff. It's good that there's a lot of stuff though, because that means there's a lot of different options to yeah. fit your needs. So Competition's it, can, good. it can be overwhelming. There's a lot of decisions and mm -hmm. I get that and you can get very overwhelmed, but I'm really grateful that there are a lot of decisions and that we can fill tons of different needs for you. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you uh, maybe saw something new you hadn't seen before. And we will catch you later.